Hey guys, so Lord here, back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Batman The Last Night on Earth Omega. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as I said before, today we're taking a look at Omega. He is the main antagonist from the Last Night on Earth story arc, and also, of course, a part of the recently released, semi-recently released, I already went over that in the last video, not going to do it again, wave of figures from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line to help build the awesome Bane, also from the same story arc. Because why not? Um, Omega's basically, I guess if you want to call him that, uh, the next Dark Metal. Uh, Last Night on Earth is kind of a result of the fallout of Dark Metal. And I guess will eventually lead into Death Metal. Uh, I'm not sure if the Superman at the end of Last Night on Earth is the same one as the one in Death Metal. But, uh, you know food for thought there but omega is basically an evil batman i think he's a clone if i'm not mistaken and he straight up decapitated dark side oh boy um and that's why he's called omega i mean he's got the omega symbol i think on his chest there right but starting off with aesthetics and articulation here this is literally the most posable dc multiverse figure i think you can pick up right now uh, doesn't reuse any parts, has overall decent anatomy, believe it or not. Legs are a little long, but he's drawn that way, so. Uh, the head looks up quite a bit. Looks down. Tilt. Crazy tilt. You can literally snap his neck, there's a lot of tilt. And look, the joint is relatively clean, no gapping. Uh, there is a bit of a ridge when you tilt it all the way, but and a little tiny gap, but really good range and no gap. Marvel Legends takes some notes. Shoulders go out to the side. Perfect right angle to the body. They do have the butterfly joint in there, so you can move them all around. And that is cool. He's got a bicep swivel. Double joint at the elbow. Woo! Double joint at the elbow. Relatively tight there. I will say his wrist likes to pop out, though. He can punch himself in his own face. I didn't go over any of this in the Batman video, but he can punch himself in his own face. I will say the double jointed elbow is not clean at all. That's. I don't know why they can't implement the double jointed elbows a little better. And of course, you could snap his neck and kill him. Got plenty of range for that. Wrists are on hinges. They inch forward and back. I will say he does have interchangeable hands. The wrists pop out relatively easily. A little bit easier than I'd like, but, you know, I'd rather they stay in for the most part, pop out kind of easy, as opposed to um, just straight up snapping or breaking the peg. I did have to heat his wrists, too. Um, but, yeah, you can easily remove his wrists as you can see uh, diaphragm oh wait a minute i thought he was a little limited down there he is but that's better than a lot of them <laughs> that little quiver and then you can at the waist hold on we're getting somewhere with this guy he could crunch at least 45 that's an improvement whether you're willing to admit it or not, that's an improvement. And then going back, you can, of course, go back almost 90. But the fact he can crunch forward as much as he can is quite amazing. Wow. I didn't think he could go that far. All righty. Uh, he's got a diaphragm rotation as well, as well as the waist. And tilt. And tilt. Not too shabby there. Hips. 
kick out to the side, right angle to the body. Be careful with the diaper. You don't want to tear it. It is a nice soft material, unlike the um, some of the figures in the multi multiverse, merciless wave, the multiverse wave. Um, he can kick out to the side almost 90 degrees. Look at that. But again, be careful. You do not want to pinch this and uh, tear it. And then he can kick 90 degrees forward. Look at that. Uh, he's got a little thigh quiver in there. I'm going to call them thigh quivers because they're not a full-on swivel because you don't get too much range out of those. He's got double jointed knees. Double joint at the knee. Can't kick his own ass, really. And then he's got uh, the ball hinges in the feet with the rockers and the toe joints, which on this guy are not terrible. Uh, that one's loose, but this one's a little stiffer. So uh, with that being said, Omega's got the best articulation out of the line, uh, not just the wave, the entire line. But I think with that being said, it's time to uh, move on to the accessories. Moving on to the accessories. Sassanese and Omega comes with meh. I I really wish he came with the um, dark side head on the pike or pipe or whatever it is, but he does come with, of course, the stand. We're used to seeing that at this point. The collectible trading card, which there we go. Clip my nails. It's hard to get these off the uh, review set here. There's a picture of him. Looking badass. I forgot to mention he's got those crazy pink lines on his uh, face there. Kind of looks like Tron. But it says Omega down there. And then on the back, you can read the bio. I'm pretty sure he's a clone of Batman that just turned straight up evil and pretty much wasted everybody. So uh, that's that. Add that to the stack of cards that I'm probably never going to do anything with. And then he's got two hands. He's got a grip hand, which would have been great for the pike with the dark side head, but whatever. Pipe again, I don't know. And then he's got a kind of uh, turn your head and cough hand, which is hilarious. Uh, I really like this uh, hand sculpt. I wish he just came with two of these instead. But with that being said, it's time to take a look some size comparisons. Taking a look at some size comparisons, here's Omega next to the Dark Knight's Metal Batman and the Batman Who Laps. Up next, here he is next to a couple other figures from this wave. We have the Last Night on Earth Batman, which I took a look at yesterday in case you missed it, and the Last Night on Earth Wonder Woman, which I will be taking a look at tomorrow. And last but certainly not least, Got our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus without his right arm, and the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. So with that being said, time to wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and while this may not be the most interesting figure in the wave, I have to say, if you want a figure just to kind of mess around with and check out how McFarland Toys is implementing their articulation into their figures, this is the guy for you. Uh, doesn't come with a lot of accessories. He only comes with an alternate pair of hands, which I still say we should have just got two open hands because he doesn't have anything to uh, grip onto necessarily. Would have been nice to get that dark side head on the pike from the uh, story. Pike or pipe. I cannot remember what it was actually mounted on, but you know what I mean. But with that being said, I have to say this is probably one of the more poseable, uh, more poser friendly McFarland Toys figures I've taken a look at in quite a while now. Uh, he's got lots of articulation, still a little bit limited in the torso, and still has the kind of so-so uh, ball hinge feet. But with that being said, if you really want a figure just to mess around with, this is the figure for you. So I would highly recommend it for that reason, or if you're interested in completing the Bane Build a figure, collect and connect, whatever you want to call it. You definitely need to check this guy out. Uh, full show. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review. 
Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. As well as hit me up on Instagram, at Overlord Productions, same profile picture as the one on the channel here. Should be relatively easy to find. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this figure, whether you had fun posing it around like I did. I gotta say, other than the toe joint still being kind of meh, uh, I had a lot of fun posing this guy around. He's almost the pizza spidey of uh, the DC multiverse line right now, just based off of how posable he is. I mean, even his butterfly joints have a decent amount of range on him. But as always, keep the comments civil. This world sucks enough as it is, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.